Hi guys, Hannah here. Are you ready for your total body blast today? So we're going to need a ball, a soft ball and your band, your loop. As always, use what you have. If you don't have any of the equipment, you absolutely can continue to do the workout anyway. We're going to go ahead and come down and start on our back. And we'll need that ball to start, but let's have that trusty band nice and close by. So as always, come down with control. Help supporting ourselves down if we need to. And then let's go ahead and centre ourselves, top to bottom, side to side. Relax our shoulders back and down. Feet are flat on the floor. And bring that ball into our palms of our hands, reaching our arms up to the ceiling. So from here, I want you to keep the arms straight, but reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling. So you see my, sh my shoulders are rounding. And then exhale as we retract the shoulder blades down, like we're squeezing a little pencil, and again, reaching our fingertips up, and squeezing those shoulder blades back together. Last one for me, good, reaching and rounding, and squeezing and retracting, and I want you to find somewhere in between those two extremes. Taking a nice deep breath in through our nose, and as we exhale through the mouth, Lightly squeeze the ball with our arms. And again, inhale through the nose. And exhale. So notice how I said squeezing the, with our arms. So not just our palms, our wrists. And again, take a nice deep breath in. And exhale. Good. Last one. Again, we're thinking at about a 20% tension for pushing against that ball. Beautiful. Keep our arms exactly where they are. Take a nice deep breath in and let's get that breath of movement. As we exhale, peel our bum and roll all the way up into our bridge. Hips come up, ribs stay melted down and melt down one vertebrae after the other. Tailbone comes down last. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, peel our bum, making sure our hips, knees, ankles are all in alignment. Inhale, pause at the top, squeeze those glutes and exhale, rolling down. Okay, we're going to do one more here and then we're going to progress. Inhale to prepare, exhale, peel as we roll all the way up. Now we're going to stay lifted, squeeze those glutes a little bit more and let's pop that ball underneath the tag of our pants. Now instantly you know if it's in the right position because if it's too far back towards your shoulder blades, you sort of feel like you're in a weird hyperextended position. If it's too far towards your legs, it's going to feel like it's going to shoot out and pop to the wall ahead. So play around with where the best position is. Otherwise, let's bring our arms down by our side, press those palms down, nice blink in that collarbone, and as we exhale, lift our right leg up into tabletop for me. Good. We're going to lower that foot down, and then we're going to lift that second leg up into tabletop. So go ahead and place your little fingertips just on your hips. Is that hip pelvis area staying nice and stable? So we don't want to be rocking madly. I know, easier said than done. So we're really testing the water about how we feel balanced. Our ribs are melted down, our torso, our upper body, there's no strain or stress there. And either stay here, or the next time you lift a leg up, float that second leg up into tabletop. Again, relax in that upper body. From here, we dip our right toe down to the floor, and as it lifts, we switch the left toe down again. We have eight, keep breathing, seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Legs and tabletop, now either stay where those previous ones, or if we fall up to the challenge, we're gonna inhale as both toes come down, and exhale as we lift up. So remember that breath that we tapped into earlier? We're bringing it into movement, guys. So inhale to lower. Exhale through purse lips as we lift. And three, exhaling to lift. Only go into the range of motion that your back will allow. So we don't want any mouth holes underneath that spine. And three, exhaling to lift. And two, don't forget that breath throughout. And last one for me, and stay lifted. Now from here, can we extend our legs up to the ceiling? Can we lower the legs down to 45 degrees? 
Can we open shoulder width, close, and bend them back in? So can we extend about six to eight inches above the floor, open, close, and bring back in? Now, whilst we're doing this, I'm this slow, you might find that in order to keep that torso looking exactly the same, you're more here. And that's perfect, guys, whatever you've got today. Again, we don't want that torso economy of going further just because you think you should and not getting as much out of the exercise or worse still, injuring yourself. Notice how my upper body is completely still, so there's no strain or stress in that upper body. Good, we're going to do one more here for me. Good. And then from here, we're going to lift up with straight legs for three, two, one. And lower down for three, two, one. And lift back up for three, two, one. And lower down. Notice how as my legs lower, my ribs don't begin to pucker. Everything still stays the same. Three more. Two, one. And lift. Last one. And three, two, one. One, and lift from here. Let's hug our right knee in, extend our left leg out, and we're gonna switch those legs. As we switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, good. So think about pulling one knee into the chest as our other leg extends, and all of those little supporting muscles are really firing to make sure that we don't fall off the ball. Good, and three, and two, and one, bring the legs into tabletop, extend our arms up towards the sky, and then let's do a little dead bug. So our right arm and our left leg extend, ooh, shaky, shaky, and exhale, bring it back in, other side. Right leg, left arm for me, and exhale, using that breath, one more each side, inhale, Exhale through the mouth as we come back through center. And last one, inhale. And exhale, beautiful job. Let's hug those knees in, rock a bit from side to side. Now guys, we're gonna need our band. This is the point where you're like, is it in hand's reach? If it's not, then you absolutely just go ahead and just come off the board and grab it, pause the video, do what you need to do. Otherwise, I'm gonna see if I can be sneaky and stay on my ball whilst I bring the band around my ankles. And we want them just above those bony landmarks for me. So, the ball is still underneath of us. If you need to go ahead and place that ball back because we couldn't find our band, feel free to. Otherwise, let's extend the legs up towards the ceiling and let's laterally rotate, which means our heels are in the same direction as each other and our toes are facing out. My legs are nice and long, my ribs are melted down, my lower abdomen is engaged. I'm gonna open my legs to shoulder width and resist as I close. And again, as we open and close. So we're really working those outer thighs here, good. Not to mention that, the lower abdomen is really on fire here because we're trying to keep the legs up straight, we're trying to make sure, you know, that small matter of not falling off the ball, just that, just that guy, you know, nothing much, right? And we have three more. Think about lightly pulling your belly button to your spine for me. Not like, you know, we're trying to pull on jeans and zip them up after they've been in a tumble dryer. Not that kind of crazy. Just a light connection. We have four, yes, and three. Make sure we control as they come back in. And two. Last one, can we stay out and can we do small little pulses? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring everything in. Goodness gracious, that was, that was a corker. Let's take the band off for me. And then let's bring our feet down one at a time all together. Have our trusty band nice and close by. Let's again peel the bum rolling up. We're going to take that ball out for me and reach it over the chest and then melt down one vertebrae after the other. Let's just hug those knees into the chest a minute and then rock a bit from side to side. Sometimes when that ball's been in place, it sort of feels a little bit like there's a hole underneath of us. So we need to get reacquainted with that mat. Now, whilst in tabletop, let's bring that ball in between your ankles for me. Legs are in tabletop and they're in a turned out tabletop, which again, our knees are shoulder distance apart, 
was our heels are hugging that wall. Now, from here, let's extend the legs up towards the ceiling for me. And we're going to kind of come into a little tick-tock. So we're just going to come to one side and back through centre and the other side. Now, this is different to our windshield wipers that we've done in the past because our hips are staying down onto the ground as well this time. So it's just our legs are coming one side, centre, the other side. Notice how the range of motion is actually not that big here. Good, we're going to do one more for me. And then from here, we're going to bring our legs to the left side. We're going to circle the legs down and around, and we're going to zip it back up through the centre. We're going to go the opposite direction. Now we come to the right side. We circle down and around. Again, only going as far as your technique and balance and strength in that core will allow. And last one, we come to the right and around and back in. Go ahead, bending the legs back into that turned out tabletop. Readjust that ball if we need to. Flex the feet. We extend our legs out to the wall in front, squeeze the ball, and bring it back in. Now, let's think about inhaling as we extend, exhaling through the mouth as we bring back in. We have four, and exhaling in, making sure that back is still connected with that mat. So what I don't want to see is as your legs push out, our back begins to arch off the floor. We have three, and two, and last one for me, let's bring it back in and bring our legs into a parallel tabletop here. Now at this point, I want you just to move the ball down so it's just in between your heels for me, making sure we're not gonna lose that ball though. Now, legs are in parallel tabletop, which means our knees are over our hips, our shins are parallel to the floor, and our toes are up towards our nose from here. We're going to take a nice deep breath in and we're just going to squeeze the heels together. Yes, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, again. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Keep our legs here. Arms are down by our sides. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Peel and roll up into a little reverse curl. And slowly lower down again. And we have eight. Beautiful. And seven. Now you might find that you're not coming up that far. I'm not coming up that far, guys. I'm not using momentum. I'm using all the strength in that lower abdomen. Good. I'm keeping relaxed in that upper body. I'm not squeezing or crunching my neck. Remember, it's not neck day, guys, at the gym. Good. We have three more. Looking straight up to the ceiling. And two more. Exhaling through the mouth as we lift. And last one for me. And let's combo them. So we're going to do three heel squeezes on the ball. For one, two, three. On number four, we come into our reverse curl. So we do one, two, three, and coming into that reverse curl. Mom, can you feel your inner thighs, guys? I definitely can. Good, last two for me. Squeeze, 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 and reverse curl. Last one for the row. Three, two, one, and curling up. Beautiful. All right, let's take that ball for me. Let's bring our feet down to the floor. Let's reach our arms overhead, holding onto that ball. Fingertips are nice and long for me. Ribs are melted down into our torso. From here, we're going to inhale as our arms come up. Exhale as we come up and over that imaginary beach ball and sitting up nice and tall. So good, guys. Okay, so I'm going to get you just to place this guy just between your shoulder blades for me. Okay? We're going to bring the band just around our wrists, just above those bony landmarks. Now, from here, relax our shoulders back and down. Look towards those knees. I'm going to get you to curl up and over to that right side as our right leg lifts for me. Beautiful. And back through centre. 
Other side, over to the left side as our left leg lifts. And back through centre. Now, with that band, I want to add a little bit of tautness to that band. So again, we're not ripping it apart for dear life, but we do want the initial tension on that band. Now, I want you to think about scooping out your midsection for me. So we're really thinking about, you know, almost like a bagel if you were to scoop out the insides. That's what we're thinking of here. Three more. And two more. Last one, stay with whichever side you're at. Stay still, apart from pulsing that band apart. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back through centre, you know it's the other side. And again, pulse apart for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back through centre and from here, remove the band. Come on up to a seated position for me and let's take that ball and just pop it to one side. Now, make sure the ball's not going to go anywhere. It has a little bit of a bind of its own. We're going to need that band. We're done with that ball for now. So, from here, let's come into a little side plank position for me. So, I want you to have your hand down onto the floor. Let's bring our left hand down to the floor. Guys, if anybody has wrist issues here and you need to come down onto your elbow, that works as well. That's perfect. Okay? Otherwise, go ahead and loop one side of the band underneath your palm of your hand. Okay, from here, we're going to have our legs stacked and we're going to come up into a side plank position for me. So lifting ourselves up into a side plank position. Let's extend that top leg nice and long and let's just double check that we're in that good supported position. Hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked. We're going to roll the elbow up to the ceiling and control it back down. We roll it up, belly button lightly into the spine, head on straight. And five, keep smiling. And four, good. And three, exhaling to row. And two more. And last one. And lower down. Hand comes onto our hip. We lift that leg up and we tap it back down as we lift and we lower. We have eight. Perfect. Seven, keep pushing away from the floor. And six, nice and straight from our tail to the crown of our head. Five, and four, and three, and two. Last one, stay lifted nice and straight. We kick our bum and we extend, keeping everything still. The oblique is being lifted up off of the floor. Good, and we have three. Hang in there, guys, and two. Almost there. And one. And coming on up. Goodness me, I'm not sure what is in more pain, my upper body or my lower body. I'm not sure. At least it all evens out. And you guessed it, we got that second side to do. So, again, let's bring that band underneath the palm of the hand. Again, we can mix the band all together and come onto our elbow if that works. From here. Again, I'm in this nice side plank position. And take a second, guys, to make sure that you're in a good alignment. From here, take a nice deep breath in. And as we exhale, we roll the elbow to the ceiling and control back down. We roll the elbow and we control back down. We have six. Hang in there, guys. And five. Yes, yes, yes. And four. Keep the shoulder away from the ear. And three, keep our head on straight so it's not dangling. And two, and one, release the band. It's good secure position. We lift that leg and we lower it down again. Are our hips stacked? Are our shoulders stacked? We have six, and five, and four, almost there, and three, and two. And one, stay lifted, pulse up. Five, four, three, two, one. Kick that bum for five and extend. And four, almost there. And three, and two, yes. 
last one and come all the way up shake it off guys shake it off okay guys we are almost 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 there we're going to finish off with our pilates push-ups for me so for anyone that doesn't know that all that's basically doing is doing a push-up walking back two up coming with a downward dog articulate up rolling down walking out and more of the same as always, feel free to do our full push-ups, feel free to do our half or box push-ups, or feel free to mix the walking back and forth and just do a push-up all together. So, that being said, we're going to all start in this push-up position, whatever that looks like for you today. From here, we're going to have our toes wrapped if we're doing full push-ups, or we're down onto our knee if we're not, or we're going to lower down for one, exhale to lift, walk back foot four, Three, two, one, roll up, but four. Three, two, one, roll our shoulders back, and again, chin into the chest, belly button into the spine, we walk out, but four. Three, two, one, and again. Ooh, carry on, guys, I'm losing my headset. Good. And coming all the way up, but four. Three, two, one, stay down, roll over for me. And from here, just Sway from side to side, releasing and relaxing, holding no stress or tension anywhere, nodding our head yes, shaking our head no, come to a still and roll up for four, three, two, one. I'm going to come on down to a kneeling position because with this platform it brings me up too tall, which is the first time in my life I've ever had that problem. You are all done, my darlings. As always, any questions, comments, queries, please feel free to have a chat with me. Otherwise, have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.